Hey there guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another Best Class Setup in Cold War video. Do you remember the other day when I was mentioning that they did it to nerf the Magnum? And then they actually did and changed the hip fire accuracy and then made it a little bit less reliable if you are firing both of them at the same time. This thing is still very, very broken in this game. I was just testing it out. I'm like, man, I gotta test this out, make sure it is still actually very powerful. And I think I almost dropped the nuke just like running around, not actually paying that much attention. So this thing's still pretty good. Just before we do get into our Akimbo Dual Wield Magnum class setup, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. It massively helps me out and I really do appreciate it. Of course, I know about 90% of you guys watching these videos right now are not subscribed. So if you could take the time to hit that little button for me, that would be absolutely massive. So let's just talk about the Akimbo Dual Wield Magnum, whatever you want to call it, because this thing is still broken in this game. Okay, so as usual with these videos, the timestamps will be on the loading bar and of course in the description. So if you are looking for just the attachments for this weapon, make sure you skip to that section. But anyway, uh, these pistols are still a problem, man. I don't know how they keep messing it up. It's like make the hip fire accuracy worse so the guns are less powerful. Mm, that, that, that'd be really something, wouldn't it? Now, of course, we are skipping over our primary here. This is just something that we are having as a placeholder at the moment. We're going to make a class setup on the L3 Tundra very, very soon. To start us off here, we're looking at the tactical, which we're taking the smoke grenade to cover off those longer lines of sight. Now, on most maps, you will need to cross a fairly large gap at some point, so a smoke grenade really does help you get there. But a stim shot is always usable if this is just a regular sidearm, regular class setup. In the lethal slot, we're going with the Semtex because this is the easiest option, in my opinion, to just sort of get easy kills with it. In the field upgrade slot, we like to be silent. We like to not be seen on the minimap. So a jam does really allow us to move around in certain areas of the map without being seen on the minimap. In the wildcard slot, we're going for perk greed here so we get those extra perks. Gunfighter is always a good option if you are taking a primary weapon, but we're not. We're only running around with the akimbo pistols here, so that is very interesting. So we want six perks here. And as for our perks, we want flak jacket and forward intel for that explosive resistance and being able to see where enemies are respawning. This is so super strong in this game. If you are still running tack mask, just take the death to the flashbang sometimes. Having forward intel is so super strong. In the perk 2 slot, we are taking assassin and scavenger here because we want that extra ammo of people we do kill, as well as having more information on our minimap. Gets us close to it to our more powerful kill streaks. And the perk 3, of course, we want ghost and ninja here. Being able to move around the map silently and not appear on the radar when there is spy planes in the air is super strong here. So our attachments on the dual wheel, the akimbo magnums, are still fairly similar to what we have had previously, but they are still absolutely busted. We're going with that sound suppressor so we do stay off the minimap when we are shooting these things because these are a lot of fun to just sprint around with. You feel like John Wick, man. I know he used like blocks, but you just feel so powerful when you're running around with pistols. Just like, it's just, it's just, you can't beat it, man. In the barrel slot, we are taking the task force barrel for a 17% increase to our damage as well as an increase to our effective damage range and bullet velocity. This is a massive increase here. In the body slot, we are going for that five milliwatt laser, 35% increase to our hip fire accuracy. This is what they did say that they did decrease in the most recent balance patch, but in the magazine slot, we are going for the salvo 12 round fast mag, of course, for the most amount of bullets to fire with this thing and a very fast reload speed. And then the dual wield stock, man, being able to have two of these things is just so super fun. You just sprint around everywhere, just blast people away. It's basically a shotgun. Feels fantastic in this game. So as usual, we're just going to jump into some gameplay here and have an excellent time with this thing because these are still broken. Like it's, it's like straight sweeper levels are broken. I think that still gets a nine meter one shot kill, which is hilarious, but this might actually be more broken because you get faster movement speed. You get a little bit more range than a straight sweeper. You get a two shot kill. It's just, Alrighty, so when I was doing a little bit of a gameplay this morning, I'm just messing around, I'm having a good time, and I'm like, they can't still be broken. There's no possible way they would have allowed this to still be actually, like, broken. But, turns out, I was a little over-ambitious with my estimation of how good they were at nerfing things, and this thing is still... Yeah. Yeah, it's, um... It's something. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah, we'll just chuck that over there and be done with it. What? I shot him. He should have any... Uh, mm, 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 that's fine. I'm okay with that. Walk through there slowly. Walk through there nice and slowly. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to grab the... I'm going to go here. The resupply is actually very, very important when you are running around with dumb class setup like this because you want your smoke grenade as much as possible. <laughs> I 
Uh, can we shut, can we cut the gameplay there? I don't think we need to actually include anything else. I'm pretty sure that's all. <laughs> that's it. I'm pretty sure that's no. I'm gonna dump that there, and we're going to run to the next one, and run through here, and then we'll run around the back. I mean. <laughs> I'm not sure if I came across in that little uh, little clip we did there, but this is still quite powerful. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I really need to say much. Like, I can just I can just chill. I can just sit here silently, and you guys will get the picture based on me just doing doing. I mean, you can't do it while you're sliding. It's a little bit tricky to hit shots sometimes, and you'll still come across times where you just get into a loop where you can't hit anything. And you'll you look like a bit of a fool, but I mean this this is still this is still pretty. He's gonna think we're going now. Oh, thank you, savior. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I've um. Hello. Is this? Well, I, I mean, I missed him, but he missed me. <laughs> no! I was punished for being greedy, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Oi. Oi. No, this is why we bring it. Oi! Now nah, we're going. I'm dipping. See ya. See, that's why we bring a smoke grenade. Like, you want a way to get out of jail, we want to get out of just run away. That's. That's how you do it. You get a smoke grenade and you just go, no, I'm... I'm... Well, this is not going to work out for him. Poor guy. Didn't stand a chance. Just clear off the corners. Make sure I'm not walking into a death trap. Alright. Hello? He just jumped over my bullets. That's cool. I rate that. What a legend, man. <laughs> what a gamer. I mean, I'm still, I'm 12 and 5, but I feel like, like you guys know, chill. That was, that's why you run smoke grenades. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is going very well. I mean, it's not, oh, hello. It's not going as well as the last time I played with this. The last game I jumped into, I think I almost had it, oh. I almost had a nuke, like, off the rip. It was very, very strange. But, you know, you can't do that all the time. Ooh. Yo. <laughs> Chill. Hidden. No! Ah, oh, man. See what I mean? Like sometimes, if you're bad at the game, you'll miss your shots and you'll be like, man, this thing sucks. But say it's actually just, just I just missed. I just missed. Because stuff like that. And then you're like. <laughs> uh, I still don't know which is more broken out of, out of this or the Diamantes. Like it's still a coin flip for me, which I prefer. Oi! No! What are you. He was following me, apparently. Yeah, I still don't know which I do prefer out of this or the Diamantes. I think the Diamantes is more of a close range. Like, if you have a sniper or something like that, the Diamantes are probably a better option, mostly if you're just looking for something for close range. But this also does, like, goofy amounts of medium range damage, so I guess that works for this too. But, like, I don't know. It's just one of those things where it's sort of up to you, I guess. Whatever you do prefer, really, because these are... Hilarious amounts of fun to run around with. I'm going for it. This was a mistake. No, yeah, we got we got away with it. Okay, okay. I'm gonna pull out this. You kidding? <laughs> I pull out the minigun and the game's like, no, no kills for you. We're gonna do a little bit of movement here. Actually, while we are in close quarters, 
It's gonna get nice and close, gonna run up these stairs. This is a bit of a blind spot. Oi, oi! See, it's blind spot. See, I'm no messing around. Ooh, got him. Alright, minigun time. Nah, we gotta go. Yeah, this is fine. I can just sit here. No! <laughs> Oh, that is unfortunate. It makes a lot of noise, that minigun does. It makes a lot of noise. People know where you are and they can just pre-fire you, so... That is interesting with that thing. I feel like we've done quite well. I feel like... Continuing to spread this around is going to be my legacy and... I feel like that's fine. <laughs> this thing's a lot of fun. I love it. Is there anybody back here? I thought there was somebody back there. That's... Smoke grenade that, we will move across the map, chuck that Semtex in there, jump over the half wall. Hello? Don't, 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 don't. No. 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 <laughs> Damn. Uh, 25 and 9 is okay. That's, that's not bad. Um, yeah, we're going to have our final thoughts. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The man himself. <laughs> ah, that's not very fun. <laughs> You run into the corridor. There's two boys here. Bang, bang. Didn't stand a chance. I did die after that, but we're going to have our final thoughts on this in just a second here. Alrighty, guys. So we did show off there that the dual wield magnums, they're still pretty, uh, pretty broken. I'm sure that they're going to be taking another look at these at some point when they do manage to put together another balance patch at some point. I don't know when that's going to be, but I'm sure they're going to be taking a look at these things and actually trying to make them not the most broken thing in the game. I mean, it's fine to have a magnum that does have a two shot kill because that's like that's pretty reasonable. That's what it should be. And then you have two of them and you run around like an absolute maniac and then it ruins the game for everyone else. And that is a lot of fun. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this one. I do massively appreciate it, of course. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I really do appreciate it. And it really does help me out because I know about 90% of you guys watching these videos right now are not subscribed. And I would like you guys to find your way back here. So thank you very much for watching this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye.